all of a sudden the freeway came to a halting stop, which is really scary because I'm always afraid that I'm gonna hit someone or someone's gonna hit me. Ava has a dance competition this weekend in St. George, so we're making a little girl's trip out of it. We're doing all the girl things. No boys allowed this weekend. Uh -uh. In fact, Justin's gonna have a boys weekend at home. We've never done this before. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't know yet. We're gonna have more fun. But Ava and I are gonna do lots of swimming, eating, relaxing, shopping, all the girly stuff. Maybe some pampering, definitely some treats, and some dancing. Definitely some dancing. Yes. So it's about a three and a half hour drive, three hours and 45 minutes. All right, first pit stop. We're at the gas station, yep. Beaver, Utah. This is a gas station that we end up at a lot. I don't know, it's just kind of one of those convenient stops. Yes. So we're picking out a few streets, picking a little bathroom break, stretching our legs. You can feel the sunshine. <laughs> is that how you're gonna stretch your legs? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's true, that's what I was doing. Yeah, like it's 66 degrees, but it's supposed to get up to 85 to 90 this weekend. You guys, we haven't felt 85 to 90 degree swimming weather for a very long time. Okay, what are we thinking? <laughs> Ooh, you like those TikToks? TikToks. Not TikToks. <laughs> I'm practicing my TikTok. This is a family favorite. We all love fast breaks. These are so good. King size is always a good idea. Yeah. Ooh, those are so good. Good choice. Fruity Mentos. Yeah. This gas station actually has a oh. ton of good stuff. Okay, Ramelo. Oh, what in the world are these? Circus peanuts. Ew, what are those? I don't know. I think I had those when I was little. Not my favorite. We got giant cups. You got oh, giant cups. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> so you can always remember Bieber. I mean, like, it's not snowing right now, so... Thank goodness it's not snowing right now. Okay. Yes, have you never seen the giant box of Whoppers? <laughs> okay, have you tried these? I've never had sweet tart gummies. I know I love sweet tart ropes. I gotta I try these. Too sweet. Which one's too, too sweet? Sweet for me. Sweet tarts. These are like my go-to drink right now. I got one of these in the car. I love all the flavors. Yeah, yeah, that one's a new flavor. I got this one. Yeah, Ava and I both got this kind this time. Wait, Citrus this berry. This yeah, we had that one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, we need gum. I've had juicy fruit with our ants. So we're trying to decide. It's a lot of fruity flavors. We got the Hubba Bubba. We got Juicy Fruit. We got Tropical Twist. Limited edition pink lemonade or watermelon, Ava. What are you thinking? Ooh, tropical, good choice. And winter mint for me. This might be the biggest gas station haul that you've ever had in your entire life. <laughs> this is what happens on a girl's trip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got stocked up for the girls trip. We didn't bring any snacks with us, so we just got some fun stuff at the gas station. It's not just for the road trip. No. We're gonna space out all of that sugar. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. This is not good for you, but my mom even let me have it. <laughs> Chocolate slime liquor. Yum, yum, yum. Caramello. Caramello. I can't say it without singing that song. Montos. Montos. Fruity Mentos. Mom's gross down. <laughs> and some, Mom calls me this TikTok. They're TikToks. So we're getting back on the road. We've got about an hour and a half, 30 hour and 20 minutes. minutes. We're getting there, we're getting close. You know what we're doing? We decided we're getting there. We're putting our stuff in the room and we are going straight to the pool, getting any sunlight we have left today. Yeah, or just gonna When the sun goes down, we gotta go to the pool first. But let's go check in on the boys. They are actually doing a bunch of errands and returns and just household to-dos for me today. But I think they're having a little fun along the way. So Let's go chicken on them. All right, guys. So me and my friend Luke are here, and we are getting ourselves some good Roxbury. We were just chilling outside, right by our electric bikes. We also, we actually came down to Provo, all the way to Provo on our electric bikes, and we just been chilling. Got some peanut butter blasts. They're pretty good, and we are just cruising on our bikes.
Okay, this is completely crazy. We are 14 minutes from our destination, 15 miles, and all of a sudden the freeway came to a halting stop, which is really scary because I'm always afraid that I'm gonna hit someone or someone's gonna hit me. Here comes an ambulance. I think that's a oh, car. Oh, fire truck. I know, here they come. So it's not very far ahead of us. It's honestly probably 20 cars. I mean, we can see it really, really well, but something's on fire. It might be a car. I don't know what it is, but they've it's like big fire. shut down. The, is it a big fire? It's so hard to see. There's tons of smoke, but they shut down both lanes. At first I thought like the car had pulled to the side to the shoulder of the road and they were just gonna close off that lane and we would all be able to go through on the left side. Anyway, I'm wondering if this is going to be like a long-term shutdown of the freeway. This could be really bad. I'm a little bit nervous we're gonna be stuck here for a really long time. Like I said, we're right at the front of it. I'll kind of show you guys what I'm looking at right now. So people are out of their cars because we've been sitting here for so long. I think just kind of trying to see what's going on. If you look behind me, there's a bunch of cars. This is the craziest thing. When have you ever been just hanging out outside of your car in the middle of a freeway? In St. George. <laughs> this is the first time ever and hopefully Literally the only time. Like five minutes. So you can see like everybody is outside of their car. Like this is the craziest thing. Like people are just, I think going up there to see what's going on. I'm gonna ask them if they found anything out. I mean, it's a gorgeous view, I will say that. The view doesn't get any better than this. Okay, some of the kids who just walked back said they couldn't really see anything, but for sure it was the car that was on fire. I thought maybe it was a big truck, but it was a car. And they also think that the people got out of it, which I'm so relieved to hear. But I'm not totally sure why they shut down both sides of the freeway. They have put like a big sign up with the arrows, which makes me think that they are gonna let our lane go here eventually. And it looks like they got the fire under control. I'm not seeing any smoke at all anymore. Oh, here comes those same kids, Ava. Let's see what they have to say. Okay, so there's a car directly to the side of us, right there, where a bunch of people just got out and hopped the fence to run up to the accident. And in my mind, I'm thinking like, what are they doing? But those kids just told me that they, it was that person's car. So I don't know if they're meeting up with like their kids or their wife or whoever yeah, was in the car. Those people that just like, they went off the road and just randomly came up yeah, where like the grass nowhere. was. Like, I don't even know and how then, you get on that road over there. And then they just jumped the fence and they're like, our car was parked there and they just randomly caught on fire. And I'm like, that can't be true. So yeah, so we can't figure out if someone else was in it that they know or if it was parked. We, I don't know, we're a little confused, but that's why they were hopping the fence. Oh, this girl's doing gymnast, gymnastics on the freeway. It's first time for everything. My Are you jealous? so golden. <laughs> I know, it's because we're in the bright, bright sun. And it's because it's 90 degrees and we haven't felt this in it's like so, golden. so long. You look cold and tan. Cold and tan. Actually, I want to be cold right now. They said you were gold and tan, not cold and tan. <laughs> we are officially moving. We are officially moving. I am so hot. You gotta get that seatbelt back on. finally made it. There's a small little detour. Four people that had their car on fire. Thankfully, it looked like everyone was okay. We passed it. It was the wife. Ava got a good video of it. I know, we're thinking it was the wife. And maybe yeah. some kids with her. Yeah, like there was like burnt stuff, oil, water, everywhere. The car when was- passed it, it, they were still spraying water on it. Oh my heavens. The car was burnt to a crisp. There wasn't much left of it. We kept us there for like 20 to 30 minutes. It really wasn't terrible. And now, <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this in video at the same time. Now Ava's doing the splits oh on the luggage gosh. carrier. <laughs> She's rolling away. Here's our room for the weekend. Just you and me. <laughs> Woo! It's not very bouncy. <laughs> Just unpacking my stuff. It's so good to have no brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Ava's excited for it to be just girls this weekend. She does love her brothers, even though it might no, not seem like it right now. Uh -uh. No. <laughs> yes, you do. No, yes, I you do. <laughs> Straight to the pool. It is a beautiful, beautiful day oh, in St. George. Yes, Thank the water's you. warm. I know. We couldn't That's ask for any more. How long has it been since you swam? 
Last summer? Like last year? Like 2020? 2020? That was three years ago. I mean 2022. Okay, so you guys, we have come over to a place called Fancy Burger. First of all, let me just say, what is up everyone? It's been a while since I've jumped on camera. What do you think, by the way? You gonna keep it? I'm keeping it right now. Lindsay loves it. Lando, say hi to everyone. Hey, guys. So, it's a little date night for Lando and I this evening, and here's why. It turns with a friend. Ava and Mom are in St. George, as you see, have seen this trip so far. I gotta tell you a story about Ashton. So, Ashton and his buddy jump on e-bikes, right? We have a couple of awesome e-bikes at our house. We got a Havasco one, we have a hay bike one, and they jump on e-bikes. Now, you know, we live up kind of, you know, in the mountains, if you will. Not in the mountains, but we live at like the base of a mountain, right? They jump on these e-bikes, and then he calls me, he's like, hey, Dad, do you want to see where I am? I said, yeah, sure. He FaceTimes me, guys. He has gone over 18 miles down to Provo near BYU campus. Honestly, I am laughing. I'm like, Dude, you are really, really far away. I said, I hope you have enough juice to get back home. Otherwise, that e-bike just becomes a regular bike. And that is a long pedal home. But him and his buddy are having a blast. They're wearing their helmets. They're on a on a bike trail. So they're not on like, you know, city roads. It's an actual trail that goes all the way down. It's made for biking, totally safe. But like, he's far away. So they're currently enjoying a peanut butter shake together down in Provo, Utah. And they're, I mean, they go eat. They'll be almost a 40 mile round trip when they get back home. Pretty funny. But Lan and I are out tonight, just a little date night, him and I. We're and close to them. Yeah, we are pretty close. Actually, we are pretty close. Lan and I are at a place called Fancy Burger. And I guess we've been here before. We kind of like it. Every month they have a new burger. Right? And uh, they range from, you know, really fancy stuff to, I mean, I don't know. We've only been here twice. Okay. Right? And so we came all the way down here to do a return at Dick's, only to find out that Dick's is closed. <laughs> Permanently. Permanently, yeah. Which we didn't know. You know. So either way, we were going to go to Fancy Burger. And we got ourselves, I got a King Crab Burger. Now guys, I'll be honest, I ordered it without really knowing how much it cost. So somewhat regretting the fact that it was like a $40 burger. The landings was $10, so I feel a little more justified than that. So we're at Fancy Burger tonight. Freaking delicious. I cannot wait to show you this burger. So the reason they call it Fancy Burger is because they have really kind of high-end burgers, but they put edible gold something on top of your bun. I'll show you when it gets it. It's pretty cool. That's fancy. That's fancy. Anyway. Let's jump over to Mom and Ava because they're having a blast. Honestly, we thought about going. We were highly considering it. And Ava's like, no, I want it to be a girl's trip. Well, so that's kind of what we've allowed is just let it be a girl's trip. We wanted to drive the Razor, so. Yeah, we want to take the side by side. Yeah. But anyway, it ended up just being a girl's trip. In fact, I almost jumped in the car and said, hey, let's go pick up the boys from school and just go. And Ava's like, no, I want it to be a girl's trip, me and Mommy. So that's what we let happen, which I think is awesome. They don't ever get to do that. So it'll be a fun memory making experience. Anyway, let's jump over to them. Okay, Ava and I went and got some dinner at a place we love in St. George called Viva Chicken. Yummy rotisserie chicken, Peruvian food, and now we found ourselves at Target. Because Hello. girls love Target. They've got clothes, they've got food, they've got purses, jewelry. What doesn't and Target have? Oh, donuts. <laughs> I think they do. Probably. <laughs> what don't they have donuts? They actually probably do have donuts. So cute for tumbling and dance. It has shorts. So cute. I love that outfit. So cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about this trip, but she just seems so grown up to me. Going in and out of the dressing room by herself, just picking out the clothes that she likes, putting outfits together, and just seeing so much of our future, of shopping trips, of girls trips, shopping for like her prom dress. This is all so crazy. It just feels like all of a sudden she's so grown up. Guys, fancy burger. Was good. Delicious, huh? Yep. Boy, that crab was, ooh, look at that Porsche, by the way. That's a nice car. I think that's an electric car, by the way. Anyway, squirrel. Squirrel! So, we were off to now to go find another dicks to do a return, and pretty chill night. Date night, man. Just Landon and I. Love it. All right, we're going to bed. Yes. Best day. 
We had so much fun. We've got to get some sleep because this I'm girl's wearing her jammies. <gasps> She's wearing her new jammies. She's wearing her brand new jammies. We got some cute stuff at Target. We'll show you tomorrow. We got to get some sleep because this girl's got four dances tomorrow. Four, and we have to change hair. It's going to be a big, awesome day. Let's so come back tomorrow. We're going to video again, take you to her dance competition. Justin's going to keep videoing all the fun that they're having there. They're probably having enough fun to squeeze farting. <laughs> So make sure you guys come back tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with us today. See you tomorrow.